today's Make Code Minute, I decided to uh, sketch out an idea for making a tool or crafting recipe book that allows me to keep track of the recipes for creating items inside of Animal Crossing. I have a little Animal Crossing tool recipes, press A. Uh, I've got a couple little icons that I've made here. When I press A, I get the recipe for a flimsy axe, and you'll see the recipe for the flimsy axe requires these um, uh, elements. I need one of the wood logs, and I need five of the stones. And now what I'm gonna do is press B, and it's gonna go to the upgraded version. So if you're gonna make a, uh, I think it's the stone axe, the stone axe requires a flimsy axe, one of those, and three pieces of wood. You'll notice as I switch back and forth, I'm just changing out a few sprites, and I'm also keeping some sprites intact. And so what I wanted to show in the code here is a neat little trick for uh, dealing with clearing your sprites. So you'll see when I press the A button or the B button, I'm just calling a function that I've made called make flimsy axe or make stone axe. If we look at what the uh, make flimsy axe function does, first it calls another function called clear sprites. Then it goes and it builds a bunch of these sprites and I've just given them all the same designation which is player. And that's going to be important in a second because what you'll see when we use the clear sprites uh, function, this goes and eliminates everything inside of a, an array called the sprite list. So it just one by one blows away every sprite. So how is this array being created? Ah, well, what you'll see is that's actually the last thing that happens when we make either of these sets of sprites. We build a bunch of sprites, and then I have this set sprite list to array of sprites of kind player. The reason that my little hammer and my little acorn cards stay put is when I created those, I gave them a different sprite kind. And so that is my little Animal Crossing recipe book idea. And that is your Make Code Minute.